Hey guys, it's me, Casey. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a haul from Lurid Apothecary. So um, this is my first official haul from them. Um, I have gotten some friend mail from Miss Catherine King um, with some Lord scents and I've seen a bunch of you guys um, get your hauls and mine came, so um, I wanted to show you. So just like um, everyone has shown, uh, she put some Christmas squigglies, um, which is really nice. It, mine is very deep, which is really nice. Um, and, you know, the Girl Scout and me will reuse all of them um, for Christmas presents. So, um, as I said, I have never ordered from Lourdes before, but my, um, my friend Catherine really likes their wax. And, um, so I am the kind of person that takes all of y'all's suggestions. And so, um, yeah, I placed an order. So first she sent three samples, which is awesome. Um, and so let me go through those. The first one is sugar plum macaron, and that's sugar plum macaron and cranberry. And these are really good bags. They feel really thick. Okay, so um, it is very fruity. I don't know if I get any of the macaron note. I get, I get cranberry a lot. And what I'm guessing is sugar plum, but I don't, I don't get the like bakery note in that. I'm cold. Um, this is called Jack's Christmas Lavender Marshmallow Blue Sugar and Palo Santo. Sign me up. I I don't know if this is available, but if it was, I probably ordered it. Um, I love Palo Santo. Oh yes, this one is great. Lavender. So it actually smells, I would think, um, like in the name of the blend, um, I would have thought that this was an herbal lavender, but it really smells more like a sweet one to me. Maybe that's the marshmallow. Oh, her Palo Santo is so good. It's kind of that cologne -y one that's like less woody um, or smoky. That's really nice. And then Reindeer Games, which is Snickerdoodle Cookies, Butter Brickle, and Caramelized Pralines. And really guys, these are amazing bags. Like I know that that's a silly thing to comment on, but some bags, like you can tell this is like, these are gonna be really hard to um, tear. And I also think that the scent leaching will be very minimal. This kind of smells butter, oh, I guess the caramelized. I was gonna say um, butterscotchy. Um, I don't get a lot of cinnamon which is what I would expect. I smell mostly like a butterscotch note on that. So it smells good. Of the samples, um, obviously Jack's Christmas is my favorite. So, okay. So I got these little um, bars. I don't know what she calls them, if they're snap bars or snappy bars or something like that. So lots of people pour those like gigantic snappy bars. Um, these are smaller and thinner. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that like in one warmer, I would probably put three squares, maybe four squares um, per warmer. But um, so it's got, you know, just like some little confetti. This one is called Winter Mocha and I can smell it from here. It smells amazing. Yes. Peppermint Mocha and Vanilla Bean. And I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Um, so I um, I got a peppermint mocha from another vendor and I loved it. And I always shy away from it because I don't really like um, chocolate and wax, but the peppermint with sort of that mocha note is to die for and it's strong, very nice. Then I got fa -la, la 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 and it is peppermint, vanilla bean noel, and buttermint candies. She does have pour dates on these and her labels are different for each one, both of which I really like. And this is kind of nice. You see it's different color blues and then also different color blue glitter. Oh, this one is really good. So her buttermints are really creamy. I don't know that I've smelled buttermint 
this this particular one because it's super creamy and I mean I know that it has the vanilla bean noel maybe that's making it more creamy but I think it's the buttermint oil that's really creamy mm, this is good too um she had several um like minty blends and I was like do I need them all <laughs> I don't know probably do um okay this one is Christmas Bake Off and it is cranberry relish, pie crust, and tea and cakes. And again, it's like different color wax and then like little glitters. Okay, so I get the cranberry smell and it is a tart, very sweet, almost bordering on citrus, sort of that crisp note of like orange um which is probably in the relish and then you know normally I never can smell pie crust when it's in a blend but here I feel like I can kind of like that powdery yeah pie crust note what's the other note tea and cakes I don't smell I don't smell tea and cakes on on cold um I'm wondering if that pie crust with the tea and cakes um because tea and cakes is right like kind of a um like it's a tea blend but it also kind of has that um like unsweetened bakery note to me like kind of a cake but not super sweet um but the crust note to me is really different I've smelled pie crust just only by itself and I can see why it gets lost but in this I can almost smell it which is interesting because I don't think I ever have been able to before um sweet pretzel twist which is um, caramel and salty pretzel. And I've heard great things about her pretzel. So it's swirled and then it's got like little um, glitters. Oh yes. Oh, her caramel is like that good one. You know how sometimes caramel can smell a little burnt or a little bit like too cloying sweet? This is like deep, rich caramel note without it being too sweet. And the pretzel is so good. This might be the first one that I wore. So all of them have pour dates. This one is poured on 9 and 7. So I can totally melt it, which is great news. Okay, and then this is Holiday Cheer. I love that our labels are all different. Gingerbread and cinnamon. Oh, gingerbread and cinnamon donuts and cinnamon bread pudding. I don't know... Have I, I don't think I've ever had anything that has a bread pudding note to it. Maybe I have. It's really pretty. Ooh, it's strong. Oh, the gingerbread is really strong. It's really cinnamony. Like normally gingerbread, I like I kind of like the gingerbread that has like more of that like sharp ginger note. This has a lot of like kind of red hot cinnamon. Mm. And let's see. And well, and I, then I guess it's got cinnamon donuts and I, I've never smelled bread pudding, but this is really strong cinnamon, red hot cinnamon and bakery cinnamon, which I go for. So, um, but it smells really good. Um, three more here. I have reindeer games, which is snickerdoodle cookies, butter brickle and caramelized pralines. And this is, yeah, what I got as a sample. I'm like, that's not so familiar. So let me see. Um, looks like this. Yeah. I mean, the caramel note is what I get the most. It's like really sweet, caramely undertones. I don't know if I like love this one as much as I love everything else so far, but I don't hate it. It's not one that I'm like, I have to give it away. It's bad. It's just that caramel note is really strong, which I don't typically like. And because it said caramelized pralines, I kind of expected it to be a little bit more nutty to kind of like balance that out. And um, it still smells good. Like it's what you, what is it, what it's described. Um, but I like whenever, tell me if you guys are like this, whenever I see like the scent notes, I always feel like the top scent note is like the most oil or the strongest note that you smell. And as you get lower in the list, like that is like the less, lesser thing and so this one had caramelized pralines as the last thing and I was like oh okay well I mean it might just have like some sweetness but it's really like a strong note in that one 
Um, okay, this one is Christmas Cookie Battle and it's sugar cookies, cane sugar, buttercream, and a hint of maple. And it's got lots of little guys. Oh, wow. The buttercream, I think, it's really buttery. Like, it's really creamy, buttery. Um, and I, it does say a hint of maple and maple kind of, I, I don't love, but this is perfect. It's like, it's like beautiful maple cookies. Like it's so good. My husband's mother, um, he always used to buy her these things called maple nut goodies, um, which were kind of hard to find. And it kind of has that similar like quality of kind of buttery, nut and then um like a sweet maple so good and then the last one i got was jingle bell rock which is um sweet candy cane peppermint fluff and peppermint twist so i told you i was like all about mint on this one and i guess i did not get jack's christmas which i'm a little bit sad about um so here it is oh goodness this is good super minty not very sweet the mint is super strong like nose clearing so good like I can taste it in like my teeth almost if that makes sense oh I really like it I like that one okay so let me tell you my top three um like I said this is a new to me vendor um and so I didn't go like super crazy, um, but I felt like I got a, like a good variety. So let's see. I really liked, um, I just gotta make sure that I pick the right ones. I like this one. And I mean, I like this one a lot too. Um, and I guess I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so number three would be the Christmas cookie battle. And so that's the one that smells kind of like my husband's mom's um, thing. And then this um, sweet pretzel twist, this is like kind of loaf worthy for me because it's sweet, but it's got a little bit of like that bread note that I really like. And then all of her mint is really good. I didn't want to only pick mint. Um, so I'm gonna go with fa -la, 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 la as my favorite mint one, which is the peppermint, vanilla bean, Noel, and buttermint cookies but um all of them are really really good um the only one I'm a little bit like hesitant about is reindeer games but it's not hesitant in a way that I'm like oh my god so I mean I really feel like this was a really nice order um and everything is packaged beautifully and smells amazing and um so if you guys have gotten anything or got anything in this ready to ship let me know um, and if there's things I need to try from her, also let me know that, um, especially you, Catherine, I know you have your list, I'm sure, of ones that I need to look out for, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.